Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Genetis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia, bursa, tendons, cartilages, and we've been talking about bone for a while. Today, we'll talk about periosteum, which is around your bone. It's a protective cover, but not just a cover, it has more functions. So let's get started. I have many anatomy videos in this playlist. Types of bones, it depends on how you classify them according to position, axial and appendicular, according to structure, compact and cancellous, according to development, intramembranous ossification or intracartilaginous ossification, according to their shape, long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, pneumatic bones and sesamoid bones. Recall that compact bone is in the outer shell. It's also very strong in the shaft. Spongy bone is usually less strong. That's why it's here at the articular surfaces. Where is my periosteum? Here it is. It's on the outside. It protects your bone. It can feel pain. It provides muscles attachment, ligaments attachment, etc. Some cells of the periosteum are ready to differentiate into osteoblasts so that your bone can heal after fractures. Did you know that periosteum had some healing powers? Bones are made of matrix, minerals, and don't forget the cells. We talked about all of this before. As for the arterial supply of your bones, you have the nutrient artery, which is very important, epiphyseal artery, metaphyseal artery, and periosteal artery, which supplies the exterior part of the bone, including periosteum. So your periosteum is helping nourish your bones. Your periosteum has nerve endings, particularly somatic sensory fibers, very sensitive to pain. What's the definition of periosteum? Dense fibrocellular membrane covering the exterior bone surface. The periosteum is made of two layers, an outer fibrous layer, very dense, very strong, inner cellular layer, elastic, lots of vessels, lots of nerve endings, and dormant osteoblasts, ready to differentiate after you fracture your bone so that they can start regeneration and repair. So functions of periosteum include protection, nutrition, and regeneration as well as it provides a surface for attachment of muscles and ligaments you want a clinical tie why is the procedure of bone marrow aspiration or bone marrow biopsy very painful the answer is because before i reach your bone i have to reach the periosteum which has gazillion nerve endings somatic sensory fibers that are very sensitive to pain if you like this video, check out my surgery high yields course on my website, medicosisperfectsnetis.com. Oh, what's that? This is the Volkmann's contracture, which is a complication of compartment syndrome of the limb. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Schnellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.